What is up everybody? So I'm guessing a lot of you guys are wondering why I'm wearing this mask. Basically, I'm getting really, I think I'm getting really sick because, so whenever the season changes, that's when I'm more prone to getting sick. Uh, and when I do get sick, which is very rare, maybe once or twice a year, it's like the fucking plague. So I have to wear this mask just to make sure that I'm safe and I don't want to cause anyone else to get sick on the train or in public area. So just really a common courtesy to not really give any burdens to anyone else. And there seems to be a very common stereotype where when you travel to Tokyo, you have to wear like a white surgical mask, which you know, I get it. Like, like saying you have to be on a Mario Kart around Tokyo just to say that you've been on a Mario Kart, but... Basically, I'm gonna take you guys with me to this pop-up event in Ginza. Um, it's pretty much a bougie-ass area. It's, it kind of reminds me of Soho, actually. This department store is holding a five-day pop-up event with really highly curated designers such as, you know, Raph Simmons, Rick Owens, Off-White, Margiela... Hyder Ackerman and before I head off basically what I'm wearing is a crepe green jacket this gray hoodie that a lot of people have been asking me about Hyder Ackerman sweatpants Nike Air Forces and Kiko bag Designer shit is Balenciaga, off white for you. Second floor, Acne, Dries. And then sixth floor, there's like the craters where um, the Issey Miyake archive stores are. So let's check that out. It's the Comme des Garcons store. So. You did a fucking good job. The 99% um, is the intestine ones. They got inspired by this. Oh, hi. This is the Jose. It's the men's. It's the men's. It's the men's. It's the men's. Wow. Apparently, this is men's. What the fuck? It's cool stuff. It's a new season? So what kind of bag are you wearing, by the way? Um, Kiko. Cool. <laughs> shoulder bag. The detailing is insane, fam. Do you, don't touch it. Just looks touch like it. a lot of amber. 1800. That's not bad. Pants to match. Gopchang. Gopchang pants. It's Korean? It's, yeah. It's actually a K Korean um, dish, which is like intestines. Mm. But it's a culinary favorite in Korea. Did you try it on, actually? This is a size of That's fire. Ah, so it's good. 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 Ah, so it's Giz? Yeah, I mean, Giz could wear it, like, Giz but, stuff like see, that's the thing, it's like personal style and your personal preference, I, it's not my forte. Like, I can't, how, when exactly do I wear this? Like, when? That was short-lived.
the perfect hoodie though for you. Though. Yeah, it's, it's the perfect. And this one may not fit. Bro, it's four bills for a t-shirt. <clears throat> How big are you into t-shirts, by the way? I'm into basics. Okay. T-shirts, hoodies, whatever. Mm. Um, it's always safe to have them and you wear them like every day so you get your like, money's worth. Mm. But I don't just... The entire set contains wraps in, and then your, your archive is over there. Mm. Uh, mm. Bro. That's crazy. This is my grail, by the way. This has on fight. This has on fight. Let me keep going. Let's go. Bruh. 20k. Yo! My god. That is insane. <laughs> insane. It's actually pretty like soft leather too. Yeah, the leather quality is... You can't compare it. Like, the leather is insane. I can't afford any of this shit. They're way too small. It's all Japanese sizing, so I can't really afford That's hard. Like 29 fucking Japanese people. Then the music cute. Music cute. What? They're all so small. You know what? Actually, I think my friend would want to buy this. You can't try it. Right? He has to unlock it. That's crazy. like art right here. It is art. It is fucking art. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me what this is, Ken. For those who I don't know. I explain this piece. Everyone knows this piece. <laughs> it's a... Uh, my store, number one. Of course. 60k? <laughs> Bam. <laughs> this is what I mean by... This is art piece. It is art piece. Art History. Piece. I mean by my previous video, like people are paying like fucking 60k for a piece of cotton, pretty much. Literally, mostly everything you can think of for ridiculous prices. I mean, gotta say man. It's a wrap. They're very well curated in their collection, but it's a wrap if you make some money mad. What? It's a wrap if you make some money mad. Did they have cut this off? This is what is it? This is the same time. Right, 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 right. This is how much is it? Super big. Fuck! Do you know how much that is? Fuck! Do you know how much that is? 
uh, like, no. That's 10k for a sweater. Mm. Jeez! I want to do an explore page. Cringe! So I wanted to answer some of your guys' questions on, uh, you know, YouTube and Instagram that you guys have been asking lately. I would have typed them out, but I think it's a little bit more personable if I do like a face-to-face -face, like Q&A session. First question. Where am I from? Born here and then raised in Seoul. My mom's Korean, my dad's Japanese, but um, this is my first time actually living in Japan. Uh, for the past like 15 years, I was in Seoul and then for college, I went to California for four years. What did I do for a living? So this is something that I don't really want to answer, but I just do uh, consulting for finance and recruiting. I don't really want to like disclose too much information on this. Um, that's probably the reason why I can't really make too many videos per week. I try to hit the quota at least like once a week, so stay tuned for more videos. How old are you? I am 23 now. Fuck. Where is your gray hoodie from? This hoodie is actually um, a sample of mine. And you know, I've gone through a lot of hoodies in my lifetime and I just can't find like the perfect basic everyday wear hoodie and I think this is like literally the epitome of that so I'm gonna be making more of these throughout the year um, look out for the drop probably sometime during fall and winter so if you guys want one stay tuned on my Instagram and YouTube The um, Starbucks reserve that they just made, how, how many days ago? Like a week ago? Yeah, two weeks. Apparently it's the biggest Starbucks reserve. Yeah. Roastery in all of Asia, so. All of Asia? In the world, right? I don't even know, but there's a massive line. So what you do basically is. Yo, they must be raking in a lot of money. Wait in line to get a ticket, which takes like let's say 30 minutes, and then you go to the line over there for them to call out your raffle number. And that takes another what two and a half hours. Mm -hmm. I've already tried this, and I wasn't wait. I wasn't willing to wait in line, so I just like dipped out. But Japanese people, they're just so patient. I don't understand.
I hope this uh, direction is familiar to you, T. Anthony. You gotta come back here, man. You know where the fuck on that. Wagyu Mafia, you dig? Mmm. We ain't paying for that. Basically, that place has, um, I think it's considered the most expensive sandwich in the world. Yeah. It's, um, it's a $200 Wagyu cutlet sandwich. Oh, that's like 300 no, it's like 250, 250 or like 300, yeah. We didn't have to wait when we went in. Huh? Yeah, if you guys want good ramen, Afuri is the spot. You can vouch for that, right, Andrew? How good was it? Buy or what, bro? <laughs> what was so special? Oh, shit. What was so special about that place? Uh, it's basically like um, they do yuzu broth, right? Yeah. It's really rich. Um, and it's what, 10 bucks? Yeah, about 10 bucks. So honestly, like really cheap for amazing high quality yeah. ramen. Um, I think it's Pharrell's favorite spot, so I think that's enough convincing. So this place has really good takeaway sandwiches and coffee. Cheers! Yeah. Don't get the mackerel, how do you like it? Yeah, I'll get the root. Uh huh. Do you want anything else? Do you want to drink with it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hi. 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 Look at that beauty. See that? See that? You dig? Fucking dig, son. That is so fire. Oh shit. Mmm. <laughs> really, really hot. Yeah. Told you it's a spot, man. The Reuben is slept on. The Reuben is slept on. Mm. Can I explain what's inside, though. It has the pastrami meat. Um, the German sauerkraut, chipotle mayo, and gouda cheese. Fuego. Get to the last bite. Mm. Guy's having a straight up mouth gasm. Mm. What would you give this place out of 10, bro? Honest opinion, and yeah, I know you're a foodie. 10? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend, dude. Mm -hmm. Don't sleep on the room and popular. Or we can get the um, thighs. What's that? Karito momo, 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 what's that? Mm. Should we get the curry? Yeah. yeah. Curry. Right. So, 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 Cheers, mate. Cheers. Mm. Holy shit. That's actually one of the best fried chicken I've ever had in my life. I'm not even boosting right now. That's amazing. It started raining all of a sudden, fam. Yeah. Alright, are we making a run for it? Go! Fuck! Yo, you got me wet! Come on, man. Well, that's scary though. So it's raining pretty hard and we have no place to go, so we found our shelter in Family Mart. We're gonna recommend some of the good stuff in Family Mart here. Yeah. This shit is actually so fire. Yeah? I have a free ticket for this. What? Bro. You want it? Yeah. Okay. I present to you. What other snacks are good in Family Mart for? Uh, Family Mart is very, very famous for like their big, big uh, this custard oh, pudding. Custard. Okay. It's huge. That's huge. That's massive. Dude, honestly, their pastries are on top of the game. Yeah. Like, definitely. 
some of the pastries in Family Mart is actually a lot better than like actual bakeries in other countries. Yeah. But limited edition Asahi. Uh, you love this. For you alcoholics, I'm not promoting alcohol by the way, but <laughs> a bunch of uh, healthy snacks as well as healthy snacks. Yeah, these are pretty healthy. Yeah, like these are healthy. Yes. These are like all the snacks that you would have with beer and alcohol. Alcohol, yeah. Uh, a lot of um, chocolate and digestive cookies. Very organized, mixed vegetable snacks. And the thing is, like all the this is like the family mart like edition, and these are all um, like uh, it's hundred eight. They patented yen. it, right? It's yeah, it's hundred eight yen, which is like a dollar. Yeah, yeah a dollar. Facts. But they don't have the. They have to get the, the green. <laughs> yeah, one. they have to have the green one. Green Join the Muscat boys. I get it by the box nowadays, my G. Four of them. Oh, this is pretty popular. Oh yeah, um, I love this. How do you even describe this? Hot chili with, with potato with, chips. Uh, yes, uh, garlic flavor. Yeah, as well. so this is very popular in Japan. Hot chili potato chips. As well as you tried this before, right? Yeah, I tried it last night. It's like a really very very uh, rich shrimp flavored. That's kind of nasty. Obviously, everyone knows this. Nostalgic. Oh, bro. This cheese up. This is a must have. Like, have you tried it? Yeah. So good. Very, it's so rich. Rich, rich. Very rich. Rich cheese flavor. Again, this section is literally for um, snacks you'd have with alcohol and beer. They have a lot of like super yeah. spicy. Like this too. That's spicy. Like cashew nuts. It's like really spicy. Make sure you check out every convenience store in Tokyo because they're all different and they all have their own branded snacks yeah. and food. So check out every convenience store available in Tokyo. So we are on our way to Nakameguro. Why is it iconic to go to Nakameguro? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's really why. Go to Nakameguro during. Um, Sakura season, which is like March 22nd till April, like late April. Yeah, late April. Yeah, so don't miss the Sakura season in Nakameguro because it's like a river with like trees. It's like. It's called uh, the Blue Cave. Really? Yeah. Aoi Dons. Really? Aoi Dons. For those who's asking if I actually paid $20,000 for this jacket, no, I did not. You can kind of tell like how cultured a person is by the hairstyle. What you think so? Like let's say, um, I don't know, like I used to have a fade. If you have a fade, you can tell like the level of their culture and that makes sense. Yeah, I agree. Right? Yeah. Honestly? So my point is, hair tutorial coming soon. <laughs> 